and today I'm going to show you how to make jar files and compile several class files okay so a lot of people might not know this but I actually just figured this out okay so if you want to compile multiple class files all you need to do is type this Anyway, so replacing file the appropriate file name and uh, put quotes around them. Okay, and another thing, um, I have I had an issue with my Java compiler where I actually had to go to the path for it, but I fixed that by making a variable for. Java C or Java compiler okay so I already have a class file here or a Java file right here so we're gonna compile it okay and then uh, really this this is mainly about create a jar file manually but so we want to compile hello world dot java okay and um hold on need to navigate to the desktop So we just type that. Oh, and also, if you have the same issue as I did, where you have to go to the uh, file path for it, like like so, that's mine. I uh, you can just fix that by typing set uh, whatever you want to type for it and of course you're going to need to put percent signs around it but not for this so set whatever you want equals the file of your JDK and then you're done just press enter and it's set Okay, so we have a compiled hello world class. Dot class. And this is pretty strange here. Very, very strange word text here. But uh, let's, uh, I hope jar is still working. There we go. So jar is in the same directory as your Java compiler. It's just jar.exe instead of javac.exe. So you can do the same thing as I just told you for the Java C thing if you have the problem with that. But uh, let's type this. Okay, so for making custom jar files, first we're going to need a name for our class or for our jar file. Like so. And then every class file that we have and then uh, dash m and then manifest file but it auto generates and I'm gonna show you how to easily make one like dash m is for custom manifest file it's really difficult to do in my mind but I'm I'm still learning how to make a class file but I got this handled so it's uh sorry I forgot something C V F okay 
So C is create new archive, V is generate verbal output on standard output. And then F is specify archive file name. So if then we just press enter. And it says added manifest adding hello world dot class or whatever your class file is. Okay, so now you might notice if we uh, try and run it. It says no main manifest attribute in hello world dot jar. Okay. So what we need to do is, I have 7-zip here, I actually recommend it. You just go over to 7-zip, open archive, go to meta inf, open the manif manifest file with notepad. And then, on a, there's going to be two blank lines at the end of here. The first blank line is where you're going to edit. Okay. Then you just type that. And then, hello world or name of the class. Okay, and al also always leave a blank line at the end because it doesn't read the last line properly. Okay, so update it. Okay, if we close that. Now let's try running it. It works. Wow. Oops. Lol. Um, there we go. That's how you make a custom jar file.